Florida State Dance Sports Championships 2022. Congratulations, guys. Thank so happy much. to see you all the way from California, my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How was your flight, by the way? Uh, uh, we almost missed the flight, the second one, the connection. But fortunately, second flight got delayed too, so we made it. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> you, you arrived today? Uh, yeah. Technically speaking, Midnight. Yes. Midnight. Is it yesterday or today? Uh, 12 a.m. That's technically today. Technically today, yeah. 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 Technically today. <laughs> Listen, watching your dancing, and uh, you guys have so much experience under your belt, you know? So since you're noticing, and I'm um, sorry, since you're mentioning you arrived so late, traveling so far, how do you deal with jet lag? How do you deal with uh, being ready and focused for your own event? Uh, Pause. <laughs> Charged question, I'm sorry. Those are actually more of a secrets of a trade, <laughs> so we cannot share them. <laughs> At least give me something, I mean, come on. Well, uh, I don't know about Victoria. <laughs> I cannot talk to myself only, right? So for me, as long as I know what I'm up against, yeah. I can be ready. I think it actually boils down to, um, I honestly saying that you said that we have so much experience under our belt for eight years and those were like eight sleepless and exhausting years quite honestly because sometimes we would be in England and at the end of the week would be in China and then beginning of the next week we'd be back in the United States and every time that you change the time zone and you know airport food everything takes a huge toll on you so coming to event when it's on a different coast or you're traveling abroad it boils down to maintaining a healthy lifestyle when you're at home making sure that you have um, your set bedtime, you have your rituals, you have your meditations, yoga, stretching, good food, because you need some nourishment because when you travel, sure. you're actually sure. lacking a lot of nutrients. Like uh, when we were on a layover in Atlanta, for four hours, all we kept looking for is hot tea in the airport and we were not able to find it. You really? can find beer, you can find wine, you can have a hard liquor, some ice water here and there, but no hot tea. Right? Definitely, so, it's not made for you. you know? Yeah, forget about it. Like we, we are trying to right now. Um, um, I'm gluten intolerant, <laughs> which is a kind of um, recent thing, recent development. Yeah, it, again, it's coming down to you know take care of your body, then it's gonna start fighting your back. So, traveling, trying to find something that is not fried and it's not sandwich and it's not bread and it's lo not loaded with like fats and gluten and other unhealthy things. This is very challenging. I'm so I was thinking my last three days of <laughs> three days of my food right, right? not genetically modified and not fried. <laughs> yeah, I have a carry-on luggage loaded <laughs> with um, supplements and ready-to-eat meals. <laughs> you know what? We all thought that preservative in the food help you to to preserve the body. You no. know, <laughs> I can I can uh, bring it to you. It, it's I don't not. Want to, I don't want to be Twinkies. You know. <laughs> Actually, I I, I don't uh, talk frequently about it, but um, you know, health challenges been following me yes. for the last few years. So. Uh, we we actually skipped a lot of events this year as well because I'm still trying to get on that, um, uh, straighten it out. And Nick is being a great partner and supporter, so all the crazy uh, diets and changes that I have to make, obviously, all the bread is out of the house, all the flour thing, really? candy, sugar. Yeah, I'm not eating any bread. <laughs> that explains a lot. That explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, and I had a very restricted diet and, um, you know, I was cranky and Nick said, well, let me do it with you. <laughs> And Nick said, let me move out <laughs> temporarily. Well, no, he was much better than that. He said, you know, I'm going to do it with you. So I, how, what can I do to help you out? So, you know, oh, that, uh, nice. that, is, that means a lot. Awesome. Listen, uh, tonight, how did it feel? You know, like you had a long journey since last year's DC, you know, challenging journey and so on. Like tonight, how did it feel? Even so, I don't like that, that question. It looked to me, it felt like you had fun. We are having fun. <laughs> well, first of all, we didn't even miss a single seats competition. Uh, first one or two, we just flew over and the rest of the competitions he invited us. So that helped us a lot that he <laughs> want to see us here. Yeah. So of course, it's uh, extra welcome for us. So of course, we feel great about that. So Sid, good job. Thank yeah. you. Keep on doing this. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy I enjoy the Ritz Carlton though. So yeah. it, it, it means a lot when uh, we are being invited to the competition and our presence is needed and wanted. So it gives us a little extra, I, I know, a boost, <laughs> sort of speak, that people want to see us on the floor and uh, we uh, love to share our dance journey with the plus, crowd. Plus, yeah. of course, we change some routines. Yes. And we... I'm sorry to interrupt, but you right. kept a lot of your old one because 
since me filming, I remember right. a lot of your parts and uh, <laughs> a lot of parts stayed. And I'm like, that's kind of your signature move. Right. I'm, and I'm sorry to wave in, but that was my question. Like, what's ahead of you in terms of where are you headed? Well, first of all, not all of the our moves work for us the same as it was before, because as a partnership, uh, we're evolving, right? Mm -hmm. And separately as a dancer, we're evolving too. So a lot of things which was safe to do before, kind of boring right now. So we would like to move on and we change things around and some of the stuff we just shuffle around, some of the stuff is completely uh, brand new, some of the stuff we are not ready for yet. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> wait for next camp, which is tomorrow. <laughs> you mean uh, Nick's smile or something? <laughs> no, it's coming 2023. <laughs> we, I think Nick's um, thing has always been through all of these years. Um, he, he's not very adventurous on um, experimenting and changing. That's more of like my trade. I get bored easily, and then I say, "Oh, let's do that." Hence, he likes Mercedes. Yeah, sure. he, yeah, he likes tradition. He likes good, high quality that, items. Right? Yeah, no, it's fantastic because you know, like when you think about it, or even. Uh, Hollywood movies or through anything in life, classics always stay yes. around longer. So the trends come and go, yes. <laughs> but everybody knows a little black dress and the string of pearls is going to be the it, even 10, 20 years from now. Yeah. So Nick is a black dress in the string of pearls. He is a tuxedo all, man. All, all the pearls <laughs> is parked outside. <laughs> yeah, he likes his pearls and uh, with a symbol of Mercedes on them. Uh, but no, I think uh, he always goes for uh, making sure that it works out 10 out of 10, that it has the highest quality, that the connection is always there, that it's consistent. And I relate to that. Yeah, and uh, I, I honestly, I come in like a storm in the studio with all of these crazy ideas because, you know, I like to do a lot of other things outside of the dance world. And I come in, I'm like, tick, tick, tick. Oh, I have this idea. And then he says, okay, okay, let me work through it. And then for like a week, he's trying it. And then sometimes it stays and other times it goes. But I think we have a dynamic duo of uh, me always throwing stuff in there. And then he says, okay, let me see how we can engineer it in. <laughs> So, this and uh, awesome. today was kind of like a combination of um, uh, some things that are evolving where I say, oh, I want to do this, and then um, him trying to work around my crazy idea and making it uh, work, work with a routine. Because, you know, everybody knows it. You change a little piece, yes. now all of your counts are gone, and so, and the energy is different, and then you now you're suddenly stuck in a corner, and then all the other couples are on top of you. So when we're talking about choreography, we're not only talking about yeah, not only talking about creating a choreography in a studio where you're the only couple on the floor, yes. but talking about the competitive dancing where you move around the floor, so not only the judges can actually see you from every angle, but also so the other couples not stuck behind you on the floor and and maneuvering around. The, so it's a dynamic uh, changes that you always have to consider not only yourself and your personal preferences, but also fellow competitors who need to be able to get around the floor as well. I like how strategically you're thinking. It's mean you're getting more mature. <laughs> <laughs> I think we always had that in mind. We've not ever been asked exactly on our way of preparing for the competition well, guess, or getting ready. We, we got to look into that when, when I was, was, was able to film you and I could see mm -hmm. where you had it to in that regard. So that's very cool insights actually. Yeah, the dance journey is not only boils down to winning a competition, but it's uh, everyday choices. It's also the information you pass on to your students. So the things we're working on are not only what is going to get us win the competition, but also can we share our knowledge and experience with others and does it work for them? So you need to know the subject inside out being able to share it with um, fellow competitors who are younger or our students who are sitting always come to the evening session and they're looking and they want to resonate with what they're working on and what they see on the dance floor. So putting that feather step and the close position in there, not because everybody knows, oh, of course you can do it because you've been doing it for years. It's not for us alone. It's also for those baby bronze students who need to see it on the dance floor that their foundation has a longevity and they're working towards something. Summary of the evening. Victoria like entire ballroom following her footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Florida State That's for Championship 2022. <laughs> guys, you, you have a flight tomorrow morning. Have a safe journey. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. I uh, would love to see you in the next events, guys. Uh, we're going to be back. Uh, don't forget, we have Instagram and we do not have TikTok. So follow us everywhere else. <laughs>